almost here. Winter is coming. Hurry up and finish the sled. All right, the sense of urgency is high in Kinger's garage. I need to get this sled done by December 1st. So we got lots to do. I got to get kill a bee, needs some fluids, easy. That one will be out the door. It's a great sled. Orange flame, just need to swap ECUs, swap the clutch, and that one will be good out the door. Bob, got more work to do here. So we got a lot to do. We got three weeks. It's go time. Today the shop today, so these are good to go. All I have left is Bob. Let's start with these EGTs. Get the holes drilled, get them clamped into place, get the wires tucked up. Ready, set, go. There we go. Just like that, done and done. All EGTs, inch and a half from the head. Perfectly centered in the exhaust pipe. On to the next one. Next up, let's get this Motec E888 badassery wired up and done. Ready, set, Go! All right, here we go. All wired in, booted up. I got it on the brackets from T1 Race Development. Again, thanks guys. This is, these are rubber isolated, so this can actually wiggle a little bit and not vibrate anything loose. This one is done. On to the next. This reservoir for the YRSS has been floating around last year. Time to make a good bracket for it. Ready, set, done. Made a nice bracket here. I got it, added a rivet nut down here to be able to hold it there. Use the existing factory riv nut right there. Can clear the belt, clear the guard. I can get everything on and off. Also clearance a little spot from my EGT wires. Call that one done. All right, let's get this meth injection system, the nozzles and the distribution block and everything plumbed and mounted. Ready, set, go. Look at that, done. All the nozzles installed, one, two, three, four. I wired them horizontally opposed, if you can see that, so that I put a small zip tie around them, butting them up tight, and now they cannot twist off or loosen up when I bounce them down the trail. Made the lines here, feeds the, the this is the distribution block. I got a pressure cylinder, uh, sensor over here. Of course, a cylinder cylinder right here with a feed that comes down through here. This is my snubber tube that um, uh, my buddy uh, Steve in Wisconsin made for me. This is hopefully gonna catch all the air that's coming through here, it's the highest point of the system. And then this is another pressure sensor here, same as this one, 500 PSI Honeywell. And then this is what's gonna hopefully give me some smooth readings that I can create a fail safe on for the methanol injection. If it fails, I lower boost and don't blow the motor up. So um, all of that is done. This goes back to the tank. Call that a wrap. On to the next. This intercooler popped off. Probably has something to do with 20 plus PSI, right? So I got a suggestion to make an intercooler brace. So all what I need to do is I need to cut this to length, cut these to length, put a riv nut in the delta box, and sink it down. Let's do it. All right, that's it. I think that's gonna hold it great. It is super strong, super tight. Now that intercooler can't go anywhere. Uh, the motor can still move based on the boots. There's a little bit of give there, but uh, this should prevent any popping off of the intercooler ever again. Thanks. Alan Almer for the idea. Appreciate it. That was, uh, worked out really, really good. I'll give it a coat of paint, round off the corners. Call this one done. Woo, that was a lot of work. I underestimated how long it would take to do the minor details, which, you know, everybody probably does at some point. But right now I'm just waiting on a few parts to finish this up. And um, otherwise, all the hard part and the, the fabrication and the stuff that, the unknowns, they're known now. So, um, also, uh, wanted to give a shout out to Burger Motorsports, their tank. On my last bolt mounting it down, it started leaking. We don't really know why, um, but they sent me a new one, no questions asked. So thank you so much for that. Also, big shout out to Steve for making me this snubber tube out of stainless steel. Just sent it to me. Um, again, couldn't do this project without you guys. I really appreciate all the help and advice, especially guys like Steve, Dan, and Canada. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I am... Um, I have a big announcement coming up and I'm waiting on one call back and then I'll post a separate video on that. I think it's something everybody's going to be extremely interested in if you've been following this build. That's it for now. More to come. Stay tuned.